welcome back. Today we will have lecture 6-2 on state variable feedback transfer functions. The objectives are to design a state variable feedback control system and to derive the transfer function for a state variable feedback control system. For state space design, we have state variables x1, x2, and so on fed back to the control u through a gain k instead of the output y. u is equal to negative kx plus gpfr. We did some examples of this in the last lecture. The end gains can be adjusted to yield the required closed loop poles. If there is no input r to the system, then the control system is a regulator, and the state equations x dot equals ax plus bu becomes a minus bkx plus b gpfr or a tilde x plus b tilde r. y equals cx plus du becomes c minus dkx plus d gpfr or c tilde x plus d tilde r. Figure 1 below shows the state feedback control system block diagram. Okay, so here we have our input and we have a pre-filter for scaling in case there's steady state error. And then here's our output and our error that feeds our controller. And here's our state B matrix, our state A equation. And here's our gains K that feed back all of our state equations. So then we yield X dot and we integrate to get X and our output is Y is equal to C times X. The transfer function for the state variable control system is found by using the following equation. And this should look very similar to what we did before when we look for the transfer function from a set of state equations. G of S is equal to Y of S over R of S which is equal to C tilde SI minus A tilde inverse B tilde plus D tilde. In class activity one, given the following state variable model, find the transfer function model for the system with state variable feedback. Since there are two states, we want to design the system by setting the characteristic polynomial to any arbitrary second order polynomial. Is this possible? Well, first we need to find the transfer function and then we can actually answer that question. So since we have state variable feedback, we know that u equals negative kx plus gpf times r. So a tilde will equal a minus bk or 1, 0, 2, 3 minus 5, 0 times k1, k2. And a tilde is equal to 1 minus 5k1, negative 5k2, 2, 3. B tilde is equal to B times the gain of the pre-filter. So B tilde is equal to 5 GPF 0. C tilde is simply equal to C. And D tilde would be equal to D GPF, but since there is no D, that's equal to zero. So now we can find the transfer function G of S equals C tilde SI minus A tilde inverse times B tilde. SI minus a tilde is equal to s zero zero s minus one minus five k one negative five k two two zero which equals s minus one plus five k one positive five k two negative two and s minus 3. And now we're ready to find the inverse. SI minus A tilde is equal to 1 over S minus 1 plus 5K1 times S minus 3 plus 10K2 times the transpose of the original matrix S minus 3 sorry, transpose and adjoint, negative 5k2 to s minus 1 plus 5k1. So g of s 
is equal to one over the characteristic equation, which is S minus one plus five K one times S minus three plus 10 K two times C, which is one, two times S minus one, S minus three, negative five K two, two S minus one plus five K one times B tilde five GPF zero, which simplifies to one over delta of S times S plus one, negative five K two plus two times S minus one plus five K one times five GPF zero And finally, we get the transfer function. The transfer function is five GPF times S plus one over S squared plus the quantity five K one minus four times S plus the quantity 10 K one, 10 K two minus 15 K one plus three. Note here, that when K1 equals K2 equals zero and GPF equals one, we get back the original transfer function for the state equation, which was five times S plus one over S minus one times S minus three. So now the question becomes, is this system controllable? Which means can you find poles, gains to place the poles anywhere that you would like? So the way that you determine that is, let's say we select an arbitrary characteristic equation such as S squared plus A1S plus A0. We can solve and find that we can find a gain K1 equal to A1 plus four over five and K2 equal to A0 plus three A1 minus nine over 10. And what this tells us is that we can select any arbitrary poles because we can find gains in order to put the system there. So yes, this is a controllable system. So we can make three observations about this activity. The first one is that the state variable feedback did not change the zeros of the system. The second is that GPF is a scaling factor. And the third is that for K1 and K2 equal to zero, which means we have an open loop system with no state variable feedback control and no pre-filter, which means GPF is equal to one, it yields the original closed loop transfer function.